So hello everyone, welcome to Acing Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Arjun Chhabra. I'm a faculty at Acing Academy and Ace Online Platform. With us today, there is Parveen Sai, and he is Ace Classroom Coaching student, and he has secured All India Rank 11 uh, this year in Engineering Services 2025. So congratulations, first of all, Parveen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Um, so I'll be asking Praveen a couple of questions regarding his experience. Uh, during his preparation journey and everything also about when he started his preparation and uh, also what were the challenges he has faced during the preparation until the selection process so we'll be diving deep into the uh, experience of Praveen so Praveen when did you started your preparation and uh, first of all start with your college where did you started uh, your studies and uh, when did you decided to go for its services yes sir uh, I have done my B.Tech from IIT Bombay, passed yeah. out in the year 2022. Uh, during my college days, I had a thought of preparing for engineering services. Mm. But uh, in, in my final year, I decided completely to dedicate next one year for this preparation. Before that, I tried for uh, private uh, campus placements. But unfortunately, uh, even in IITs, uh, we were not able to get into the core sector. Okay. As a non-core sector, we have many options, but in core sector, we didn't have uh, good opportunities. Mm. So I thought ESE would be the great option. Then I started my preparation coming mm -hmm. to Hyderabad mm -hmm. and uh, offline coaching. Mm. So in gate 2023, I secured All India Rank 14. But in ESE, I went to interview, but uh, not in the final list. Okay. And so how did you use your uh, gate rank? So in 2023, December, I joined Indian Oil Corporation mm -hmm. based on my gate rank. And uh, after that, I worked there uh, around 10 months. And I gave my second attempt in ESA 2024. But along with job, I felt it was very difficult for me to manage. Mm. So my location was uh, having a heavy workload and mm -hmm. uh, manpower issues. Okay. And I used to work every day 12 hours in office and uh, Saturday, Sunday is also mm -hmm. working. So I was not able to prepare well. And the 2024 ESA prelims was a little unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Not little, I can say it was huge, unpredictable. Yeah. It was. So my score was bad, and mm -hmm. uh, on the day of ESC mains, so can you can you first tell me what was your score? Uh, one seventy four, just one okay. mark. Okay, uh, I broke it off. Mm -hmm. So and after in ESC mains twenty twenty four, uh, I hardly managed to have a leave of one day, and okay. uh, due to sudden change from Tamil Nadu to Hyderabad to write exam, mm -hmm. I got fever. I was okay. severely ill on the day of exam. Mm -hmm. So it was my disastrous day, I can say. I had never had an exam like that in entire my life. Okay. So I didn't qualify for interview also. Yeah. So that made me feel very bad that mm. uh, managing ESC preparation, considering the low vacancies we had in ESC 2024 yeah. is not so good. So I had taken a very huge step in resigning I was here. Mm -hmm. So luckily after that, uh, I got, uh, we, I had a notification, I have seen a notification regarding BAS. So it, which is very interesting for me. I had a uh, interest to work in that organization. So it gave me kind of satisfaction. Even if I don't clear ESC, mm -hmm. BAS is a great organization where I can work for. And I joined BAS. Luckily at that year, uh, there were only three vacancies, but my return, uh, rank was eight. Oh, very nice. Although I had a rank of 14, but uh, my written uh, scores is in 8th position. Luckily, inter I was the topper in interview and uh, able to get into BAS. Mm -hmm. And uh, BAS is very great organization. It is everything is cool. And uh, because of Saturday, Sunday holiday, I was able to manage my preparation. Oh, very nice. And in ESC 2025, I got AR11. Okay. So as you started your preparation with GATE and ESC both, <coughs> Right. And um, as from your from our discussion until now, I'm able to understand that during that prelims phase, because the date of gate examination and prelims examination of intake services is very, very close. How were you able to manage the non-technical portion of engineering services with gate exam preparation initially? Because uh, in 2023, you cleared prelims, mm -hmm. right? So what was your experience? In 2023, uh, it was my mistake. I can say I was not able to plan properly mm -hmm. and complete GS part on time. Mm -hmm. I can say it was a big setback. Even in 2023, my prelims was uh, not that great. Okay. And uh, GS part was too low. 
Mm-hmm. So in last one month, I understand the fact that uh, I'm not able to complete this. Then I shifted my preparation to GATE. So I have achieved good score in GATE, but not in ESC. Mm-hmm. What I want to suggest is, if you can plan earlier, having a good base in technical, mm-hmm. uh, you can easily manage GS. It will not interrupt GATE. Yeah. GATE is all about a skill exam. Yeah. So ESC is all about hard work exam. Mm, definitely. So I got. 14th rank in my first attempt. It was based on my skill, I believe. Mm-hmm. But in ESC 2023, I was not into the list. But the amount of, uh, which means the amount of hard work I had in that exam mm-hmm. was less. Mm-hmm. So even in 2025, without preparation, I have given gate, I secured 46 rank. Again, it says that skill matters. And uh, ESC, this time I had a very good time for prelims and I improved a lot. Means also I have started little early before prelims. So I was managed to mm-hmm. get good rank. One more point I want to ask you is that would you suggest any student who is starting fresh hmm. to go for only GATE or only ESE? Or if let's say a student decide uh, to skip GATE examination because he is very much ambitious towards engineering services, would you suggest him? I will Why? suggest both exams hmm. to be prepared simultaneously. Okay. You can say these two exams have a kind of symbiotic relationship. Yeah. So definitely. one exam will definitely help others yeah. and wherever the places we need some sort of skill based uh, skill based uh, enhancement, yeah. GATE will help you out there. In GATE also wherever the theoretical questions we are getting, so engineering services will help you out there and mains okay. preparation also helps GATE and GATE will help mains preparation. So I would suggest preparing for both will be a great option. You had a yeah. backup also. Okay. Yes. Uh, when you started your preparation early on, uh, you know, final year. Mm -hmm. Uh, Did you had some kind of knowledge about your subjects in deep, in depth, which were, which was required for competitive exams? Yeah, I can say that considering I am from IIT Bombay, Mm -hmm. there might be expectations that I was very good in subjects. But the fact is, I was not that much confident in my subjects during college. As you all know that COVID has affected everyone's life. The Uh, beauty of offline classes was not there everything has changed suddenly online lack of uh, network issues this all everyone's it affected everyone's life Mm -hmm. so i didn't have a good command on the subject but with my personal experience i can say that if you can start uh, coaching obviously they will teach from basics Mm -hmm. and uh, you need not to have a sound knowledge in subject even if you know abcd of the subject you can definitely go into it what were your favorite subjects and your weak subjects Uh, I don't have any favorite and any weak subject. Okay. I can say I can get good marks in any subject and I can get very low marks in the same subject also. So I I also suggest aspirants to not have such kind of feeling. Even steel structures shouldn't be ignored like many people will do for gate. Every subject should be equal. Most Everything ignored subject be... of civil engineering by the way. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you see engineering service point of view, steel is very important. Yeah, it is. I can say in each subject, I can have few areas where we need to have a more focus. Mm. For every subject, I will segregate few concepts has to be revised multiple times. For example, mm. soil mechanics, we have starting part like types of soil and ending part soil stabilization, mm. which we generally ignore. But however, the remaining portions we frequently come across either in gate or test series or anywhere. We had a huge resources on that. But these sub uh, areas, we will uh, not put much focus. In my view, rather than a subject, in each subject, I have a few portions which has to be focused more and the things which you can uh, take light. Uh, So this is my strategy. Every subject is equal. By your answer, I'm able to understand that you very much emphasized on your note preparation as well, because there must be a way that you were able to segregate that. Yes. So would you throw some highlight on what was the importance of note making in your preparation? Yes, yes. Although you had a, maybe you, if you are not having any offline class, maybe you are referring to some other coaching material of your friend, it's okay. But you must have a short notes of your own or at least you should able to segregate the content in such a way that these are the areas which I am weak. These are the areas which I am strong. Mm -hmm. That segregation is very helpful. I used my tab to segregate all those things. Each subject I have... uh, uh, segregated everything. I have written short notes. Some points I have written in just single line that some others may require more time. Mm-hmm. Some points I have elaborated very much that some others feel it is very easy. Yeah. So I have drafted the 
coaching notes into my uh, own style okay very so nice so that has helped me a lot in revision and all so with this i am able to say that it's not that you have to copy praveen it is that you have to take inspiration from praveen and make your own notes in your way in your language and depending upon your weaknesses and strengths you have to move forward in your preparation praveen let's talk about test series as well hmm. what is the role of test series uh for a topper uh, and how to utilize test series in the best possible way i can say the preparation is the coaching the revision part all are our entry tickets for this preparation yeah definitely it is like you should have coaching and notes for the basic entry level hmm. but rest part is test series and pre- previous year questions these two are 50 50% which are very important hmm. and uh, in my view in my case test series has played a very huge role because i need not to think much about uh, which subject to start which subject to focus more hmm. when i am writing test series it will teach me that you are weak in this subject you are strong in this subject focus more do more questions on this topic maybe refer a standard book on this particular area hmm. this is the area where there is high chance of getting a question and these topics are being tested in depth these topics are not being in de- tested in depth yes so you need not to waste time in digging more on the Definitely. topics all these things everything will be taught by test, test series, series. Yeah. and they will teach you for uh, they will teach for you not for mm-hmm. other person yeah if you listen uh, anybody topper story or something they are saying their experience mm. but if you write test series test series will clearly tell you what is required for you yes. so in my view test series are very important if someone is giving their second attempt or third attempt i would uh, suggest you to just give grand test every sunday yeah. and keep revising based on that grand test you can revise your class notes which will be very efficient yes shortlist your weak areas and schedule your revision accordingly based upon your test series performance um after that praveen let's talk about your interview experience uh, as we were talking early on that you had a very wonderful personal interview experience in indrik services yeah so let's throw some light how was your experience in personal interview so i just want to give a brief introduction of my interviews experience yeah. i had interview in uh, engineering service 2023 where i can say at that time my knowledge was uh, pretty less than what i have now mm. so in that uh, in that year i got 120 marks which was decent and uh, in bis 2024 i got a very good score in bis but in 2025 i had a very terrible experience my interview went for very short duration and during my interview i find it difficult to have a frequency match with the panel members whatever the questions they are expecting i was not able to give the answer what they are asking me mm-hmm. some questions were like panel asked me uh, questions based on having some opinion in their mind i was not able to meet that in many cases even i didn't give them proper answers so interview was completely having a mismatch in frequency mm-hmm. and one member has actually got irritated on me that you are not even understanding what we are asking okay so and uh, interview went abrupt uh, it it stopped abruptly okay so i was very nervous like what has happened uh, after that i was in a opinion that i will be not i will not be selected this year mm-hmm. so and i am being forced myself to prepare for next year because results are getting delay yeah so but it was very surprising for me to see uh, all india rank of 11 i am very curious to see uh, results yeah. where this miracle has happened is it like interview went well or i have done something good in some written stage i have to see that so let's bifurcate then na huh. in your prelims how much you scored prelims i was getting around 310 305 okay. to 310 you can consider yeah and, and your mains uh, mains my expectation was 350 okay and i was little stringent in my evaluation because mm. in 2024 i evaluated i am getting 350 but in actual it was 300 Oh, okay. This time I was stringent, hmm. so interview I I I am considering around hundred. Okay. But this score seems to be not for AR eleven. I think it should be more than what I am expecting. So clearly, clearly has, based upon your experience, you your performance in your prelims and your mains was quite good, right? Yes, yes. Maybe uh, in mains paper too might went well. I yeah. I think so. So for the students who very much focus on you know the personal interview aspect. 
it carries 200 marks. Keep that in mind. Out of 1300, 1100 is in your hands. So a student who is well equipped with their subject preparation, their mock tests, their continuous revision alongside of their preparation journey, you are good to go, right? So you don't have to focus too much from the start itself on the personal interview. Um, you know, I, I hear that the students complain about that they are very much underconfident in speaking English and in their body language and everything. But I don't think so. That is a huge problem. It can be taken care of by the end uh, of your mains. First, focus on clearing prelims and mains and then uh, personal interview will take care of itself. Right. I also want to add one point yes. over here. Interview is not something that you can prepare this. I want yeah. to say based on my experience. Yes, of course, there are some basic things like basic subject revision, basic uh, geographical aspects and uh, uh, latest technologies going on. These all and all we have to prepare and some basic etiquettes we have to learn how mm -hmm. to behave in front of panel. The rest of that, how you communicate has already been in you. Yeah, so that definitely. you cannot change in one month. So don't uh, put much pressure on yourself. You can do something which is in your hands. That is the 1100 marks. So there you can do better. Yeah. So anything at the end you want to say about your experience and what kind of experience you had with Acering Academy as well. And we will sum up with the interview then. Yeah. Uh, before that, I would also want to say one point uh, which I had learned in my journey. Is it good to prepare along with job or not? This is the yeah. biggest question many people might be having. Even I was having and it made me really trouble in taking decision. In my view, whether to prepare along with a job, it is a personal case. If it depends upon the type of job you are in and the kind of location you are getting. IOCL has many, many places where workload, workload is good. Mm -hmm. uh, some places it is very hectic. So it depends upon the location actually rather than saying whether the job is good or not. And it also depends upon your preparation. Whether it, have you done at least one year of ideal preparation, then you can take a job based on your confidence levels. So don't just go by this like job is not good for preparation, job is good for preparation. You just think, uh, inquire about the kind of uh, work pressure you are having and Saturday, Sunday, holiday if it is there and if you are preparing in some cities having a facility of giving test series, I think uh, you should definitely do a job. Or if you are feeling that your preparation was not that much great and the job which you are going is having a little bit hectic, then I would suggest not to join a job. Because these exams are very uncertain. Yeah, definitely. ESC 24, I got fever and I was it was a disaster. Yeah. So nobody can predict anything. So I would suggest, so inquire about the job. If it is having a decent workload and Saturday, Sunday holiday, you can go for it. Yeah, definitely. I'll add on to Praveen what, what Praveen is saying. Plan B is one of the most important things to have while you are going for entering services because it takes hell a lot of time from your starting of preparation to the selection process, right? So having some kind of financial assistance in your hand is one of the most important things that you would uh, have in your lives, right? So Not only financial independence, yeah. job will teach many things, I can say. I mean, financial independence plus the personal challenges uh, yes, also yes. one has in life, right? Definitely yeah. can be managed if you have at least Saturday, Sunday holiday. Yeah. So, uh, anything further about uh, your course and everything about Acering Academy you want to so add on? I had a yeah. offline coaching in ESC 2020, uh, for 2023. And uh, during my college also, I have uh, taken an online course. Mm -hmm. and uh, deep learning videos yeah i have completed now a few it is subjects. online yes yes yeah. now i completed a few uh, lecture videos over it and uh, after that i have uh, 2023 and 2025 i was give, uh, i gave mock interviews okay so this was my experience with uh, ace academy okay. it was good Shari. so we learned a lot and i hope you all also uh, uh like the video a lot so like this video Share it with your friends if you think that, that this video is helpful for them. Subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.